When humans remember something clearly, they often tell it in story form. So if you want a presentation to be memorable, to inspire others, or get a chance at collaboration, you should tell your research in story form. The simplest story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. There was a character in a place, and then something happened, so they found themselves here. Thus, a memorable, simple science story might be, we were studying this system, then we got this weird result, so we tried a few different things, and we figured out this. Anything that distracts from that simple structure makes the telling less memorable. For example, this field has a long history, and here it all is. Oh, and also, this happened historically, but it actually it turned out to be nothing. So anyway, we figured we'd add to this history. So we tried some stuff, but I won't bore you with the details. But suffice it to say, here's how to repeat our entire experiment. Now here's a bunch of pictures showing various data that we collected. And so we think this is happening, but maybe not. Uh, anyway, here's what we're going to do next. The more background and false endings you include, the fewer people will follow you to the end. To be remembered, cut to the chase and provide additional information for those interested to look up later. Distribute a handout, give references, provide your contact information to continue the conversation. Note that story structure is best used when you're giving a talk. You have to grab attention, retain interest, and deliver something for the audience to feel rewarded for paying attention. It's perfectly fine to let research articles and even posters present additional information because, well, the reader has time to take it at their own pace, possibly going back and rereading sections or coming back to the source when they have time. In a talk, the audience only gets to hear what you tell them in the order you tell them. So tell a story and the audience will have a better chance of remembering enough to look you up again. Still not convinced you have to tell a story in a talk? Well, regardless of your choice, members of your audience talking to others about what they remember will almost unconsciously use story structure. For example, so I was in this session today and the middle speaker, Dr. Jane Doe, was saying how their samples were one day accidentally exposed to a UV lamp and it completely changed their optical properties. I talked to her afterwards and she's up for meeting to discuss those weird results that we're getting. Or, so I was in this session today and the middle speaker, whose name I can't remember, just showed a bunch of text and some illegible graphs so I started looking up restaurants on my phone. And I found this fusion place downtown that had really good reviews so I went and checked it out. Well it turned out the program manager was there and she's totally willing to meet with us and discuss those weird results that we're getting. In communicating your science, would you rather end up as a main character that inspires or even joins an audience member's adventure or just be a forgotten bit of scenery? So tell us, what's your chem story?